Time now for the morning rush. Homeowners are upset about an alleged burglar who's been allowed to remain free until he goes to trial. Police arrested 18 year old Jesse Mascareno Hadel on two burglary charges, but the DA says that he confessed to more than 20 home burglaries. He is out of jail. Documents state that the state did not provide convincing evidence that keeping him locked up will make the community safer. Santa Fe police are asking for your help finding the person behind a deadly shooting at the South Capitol Rail Runner Station. The police say that the officers arrived on scene yesterday to find two men shot. One of them died. The other was taken to the hospital. If you know anything about this deadly incident, you're asked to call Santa Fe police. Erica. As the kiddos are stepping out the door this morning and you're bringing them off to school, temperatures are going to be in the low 50s, so you may need a light jacket for the kids and maybe even a windbreaker for today because the winds are going to get rough by the afternoon. APS's in-person graduation ceremonies will be the week of May 10. The 13 regular high schools in the E Academy will have graduation at Nucinda Community Stadium on the west side. Ceremonies for the magnet schools will be at the Civic Plaza. For now, seniors are limited to two guests. We do have a schedule posted for you at alwaysonkrqe.com. New Mexico is expecting 130,000 doses of the COVID vaccine this week. The state is working on getting 1 million people registered to get their vaccine as soon as possible. A part of that goal will be reaching more younger people and getting them to sign up. Right now, all New Mexicans ages 16 and older are eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. And here's a look at the Metro Threat Index for today. Moderate because we are expecting the very windy conditions. Be sure to bring in your garbage cans and tie down any loose outdoor furniture. Those winds could gust up to 50 miles per hour. The city is not enforcing a parking permit zone over concerns that it could limit access to the Bosque. Well, the zones are set up in neighborhoods like the UNM area where parking is at a premium. But recently, neighbors in the North Valley had a permit zone approved for their streets. That's along Trellis Drive and Decker Road. City Council voted to hold off on enforcing the permit zone and establishing new zones for six months. A Missouri mom says a New Mexico teen saved her toddler's life. 13-year-old Cadence Hensley of Mayhill was on vacation at Disney World. She saw a baby unconscious in the deep end of her hotel pool. Cadence dived in to save her. A bystander performed CPR and Haven was rushed to the hospital, fully recovering the next morning. The family swapped information so they can keep in touch. A new Mexican restaurant is popping up in Brooklyn, New York. John Waterberg and Melissa Klein, they have been working on the restaurant named Santa Fe BK for over two years. Now they hope that customers, when they come in, will feel like they've been transported to New Mexico with every ingredient coming from the land of enchantment. They hope to open in June. Looking ahead, you'll soon be able to go to the downtown growers market again this month. The in-person market at Robinson Park will return on Saturday, April 17th. Now they're allowed to open at 33% capacity, so the market says it will be able to allow more vendors and customers than last time around. Now they just ask that you shop quickly and only send one person per household if possible. The growers market will be open every Saturday through November 6th. And let's get a look at that morning drive. Here's a look at the maps. No accidents or slowdowns to report as of now. And here's a look at Tracker. Uh, the road's looking pretty clear there going through downtown. It's a dangerous job. PM is collecting thank you letters for Lineman Appreciation Day during extreme weather when linemen are out, making sure the electricity stays on. PM is asking customers to have their kids draw pictures of linemen working and then upload it to their website. Lineman Appreciation Day is April 18th. Austin firefighters, they helped rescue a squirrel that was stuck in a tree. The Austin Fire Department tweeted out that this was not an April Fool's joke and that this was the first time that they rescued an animal out of that tree. Once they got the squirrel's tail out of the tree, it then scurried off. Welcome back. On this date in 2001, there was a strong upper level system to our north that brought a strong cold front, much like what we're going to be dealing with today. Sustained winds of 40 to 45 miles per hour and gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour overturned trucks, power lines, and there was damage to homes reported. Time now for the five facts that you need to know before you go this morning. At number five, you'll soon be able to go to the downtown growers market again this month. The in-person market at Robinson Park will return on Saturday, April 17th. Now, they are allowed to open at 33% capacity, so the market says they will be able to allow more vendors and customers than last time around. But they do ask that you shop quickly and only send one person per household if possible. The growers market will be open every Saturday through November 6th. On to number four now, New Mexican cuisine is making its way to Brooklyn, New York in the form of a new restaurant. John Waterberger, John Waterberg, I should say, and Melissa Klein have been working on the restaurant named Santa Fe BK for over two years. Having lived in Brooklyn for over 20 years, they have family ties in New Mexico. The pandemic slowed their plans, but they are moving forward. They're now looking to remodel the actual building. They hope when customers come in, they'll feel like they've been transported to New Mexico with every ingredient coming from the land of enchantment. They hope to open in June. 
and it's going to be a very windy day across the state. So here's a look at our hourly wind planner. If you're hoping to get outside earlier, the better. The wind will kick into high gear by the early afternoon and could see some gusts up to 50 miles per hour later on today. Number two now, New Mexico is expecting 130,000 doses of the COVID vaccine this week, which does include 30,000 doses of the single shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine. As of right now, all New Mexicans ages 16 and older are now eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine this morning. That is nearly a month ahead of President Biden's goal for widespread vaccine eligibility. The DOH is trying to get more of those people to register through the portal. The state is still prioritizing older people and those with serious health conditions. If you want to see more on this, go to our website. That's always on KRQE.com. And at number one, angry homeowners are speaking out about an alleged burglar who's been allowed to remain free until he goes to trial. Well, the homeowners say that a burglar broke into their homes in the middle of the night, taking wallets, grabbing keys, and then taking off with their vehicles. Well, police arrested 18-year-old Jesse Muscadino Heidel on two burglary charges. But the district attorney, Raul Torres, says that he confessed to more than 20. Documents say that the courts found him to be dangerous, but the state did not provide convincing evidence that keeping him locked up until trial will make the community any safer. Well, the DA asked the Supreme Court to weigh in on this, but so far the court has not made a decision.